Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So you can see now here that's my new Thrustmaster McLaren wheel. So I just make this thing take take me a couple days to figure out. So you can see, and uh, so I got the um, a TM LED Thrustmaster display. So you can see there. So this one is gonna work for the PlayStation and a PC so that's what I was trying to figure out but I think I'm gonna uh, buy the T300 uh, steel wheel because that's way cheaper because I think this one is uh, I have two of these so that's what I decided to do the other steel wheel but this one is like 200 and something dollar you don't wanna like waste your money and you never know because I was raised to broke the other wheel but I mean I'll take the chance um, so we're gonna show you how it's gonna work on the uh, PlayStation you can see right there my PlayStation I had to buy that one because I had to find different way to do I just want to make people who use a uh, PlayStation or Xbox I want to make sure they kind of similar with PC so that's what I, my goal is so because it's a lot of uh it's hard to find um stuff for uh, playstation or xbox so that's why my goal to make you guys have more options to do with your console so yeah i'm gonna we're gonna do a little uh quick game just to show you how the steel wheel is gonna work here and it's gonna work there if you want guys decide to do that um, I have the files, I have everything. If you can find a 3D printer or, you know, if you own 3D printer, let me know. I can send you that because I already have everything here. So you're gonna, just to print everything, everything's gonna fit perfect here. So, uh, but if you want a way to do with the T300, um, that would be better too. But, uh, cause right now, it was a little complicated because I used in the Ferrari 488 well, steel wheel. That's I think that's what I call. So it's a lot of numbers. <laughs> but yeah, let's go do a game and uh, and I'm gonna show you guys how it's gonna work the, here in the PC and the PlayStation. All right, let's do it. So okay, guys, we're gonna try this on the PlayStation now. And again, we're gonna go after the PC, so you're gonna see this is gonna work for PlayStation and PC. So, so before, like I said before, um, you know, I bought the PlayStation to to make more stuff there. That mean is like, you know, with steel wheel and PC, you can make different type options. Steel wheel, you can use like a so Arduinos or uh, USB joystick, all the type like this one. This is for Trustmaster, but it's only gonna work for PC because you need USB. I make this one too, but this one's gonna work even for Xbox or anything. So same with this. This is the box, I make this box. So, you know, you can't make that kind of stuff on, on or you, I mean, you can make it, but you you can buy it like on online or whatever store. But that's what I try to figure out. Like I want to make sure um, you guys, uh, when you PlayStation or Xbox, you can have like a real nice uh, sim racing setting. Like look pretty nice and more comfortable. So we're gonna do this uh, racing. Oh. I need to forgot every time I sit I saw there's a problem with the Trustmaster quit release there's nothing quit but I mean the problem too is uh um, the shifter there is really close so it's kind of hard to to put your fingers there so okay so like I say Oh, and um, by the end of the video too, I'm gonna show you guys how I put everything together. So 
because with the board, the electrical board, you have to do some adjustment for make you pedal work. Uh, but it's really simple. You're gonna see it. All right, we're gonna do this. Uh, I guess I'm gonna. I don't understand much this. All right, let's go here. All right, so all my shifter here is gonna work, and every button here is work too. Yes, yeah, so I feel great. I feel like really smooth and super light too. Because there's not metal much here. And um, it feels really strong. So you don't have to worry about it's going to break it in your hand. So. See, everything is working great. So happy. Okay, so you can see now we're gonna move to PC. So I'm gonna show you really quick. I'm gonna take this off. Now we move to my PC. So this is a T300 uh, base. And this is a TSPC uh, base, so both is Trustmaster, so but just two different bases. This is more uh, strong base, more powerful. So, and this one, uh, this is not gonna work because this is just made by PlayStation. I'm gonna figure out how to make it work on the computer because it's it's really uh, nice but I have the uh, LCD light here L yeah LCD I think that's what I call um, so this one's gonna work on the PC so plus I got this one too so it's not a big deal all right so start the game you're gonna see see the light there See, just plug and play. It's that simple. All right, be careful, man. Don't try to hit me. So, pedals responding really fast. Come on, we crash. So, the pedals responding really fast. Everything is like, I mean, Everything inside there is from the Trustmaster wheel, so it should be work perfect. I mean, it's working perfect, so. Sorry for that noise, that's my wind simulator. Okay. Crash. Okay, so, and I'm working to make my other wind simulator. I think by next week, I'm gonna have that ready. So, that's it, guys. This is the, uh, my current kind of replica steel wheel so I still have to do some some stuff here to make it nice and perfect like especially with the uh, carbon fiber wrapper the wrap not wrapper uh, wrap there is uh, kind of like come off so and need to buy small uh, bolts here got really long but I mean, it's the first one, so so with, with this idea, you can make any type of wheel, your dream wheel. You can work if we, ah, sorry, if you want to make from Mercedes wheel, you can make it. I think I'm gonna make the other one's gonna be a Mercedes wheel for uh, the T300 steel wheel. So, okay, guys, so I'm gonna show you. Uh, some design that you have to do here, so I have to add more holes and uh, and cover some holes on there to make sure everything fit perfect. So I got this is the from 
plate and this is the back what is it yeah this is the back plate this this one it was like a little you see there I'm going to show you once is the holes and everything so yeah it was a lot of work it took me a couple of days to figure out but in the end everything is filled it seems really nice so this is everything once it's done you can see down there so you got the idea so remember if you want to make a wheel let me know um just uh send me uh message me from instagram as uh javier ferrera uh, uh Fer sorry ferrera sim racing so you can we can talk there okay guys so i'm gonna show you how connect all the buttons and all that stuff okay guys the only modification we're gonna do here so this is the face I don't know what to call this but you can see this transmaster there that is the shifter right here so I'm gonna use the almost look like the same buttons but I'm gonna put it on the on the pedal shifter so we're gonna do the little welder here so I'm gonna do this. I'm not that good with this, so I'm try to. Oh god, I don't know if I do it in the back. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it in the back. So I'm gonna do. I think it's too long. Okay, come on. Let's do it. But I don't want. I don't, I don't want to get too close because I don't want burn the green part. That's professional right there. <laughs> really bad. But it do the job. So I guess the color no matter, but I wanna put uh one side same color and then the other side different uh the other color. So I'm gonna have two white and two blue. So, like I say, I don't think so it matter, but we try. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. I'll put a little bit more. Guess that good. Next one. So okay, I guess this is my idea. Hopefully work. If you know how to do, figure out something different. Okay, so we're gonna put here in the back this one go to the back and then we're gonna put on the board so it's gonna be one four cable in each side so, so it's gonna be the same process oops I can see right here is kind of loose cable yep all right one well, a little bit more here All right, that's it. So hopefully this work. Yeah, hopefully it's going to work. So yeah, do the same process on the other side and that's the only modification you're gonna do. All right, let's keep working and I'll show you guys when I'm done, everything I'm gonna put together and you're gonna see how everything's gonna look. Done, so I wanna show you. So after well, um, well this cables, so I'm running behind 
Uh, it's a hose and then whatever to put my uh, pedal shifters. I'm gonna turn around. So this is all the step I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna show you uh, once I get this, all this together, like with the uh, pedal shifter. So I'm gonna use this uh, little tiny like switch here. So I, I'm gonna keep doing, and uh, I'm gonna show you more stuff how how I'm, I've been doing. All right, we're ready to put this face. So this one go here. All the buttons feel like good. If you know how to, there you go. Yeah. So now I'm gonna put the screws to keep in place. I have to buy like so many different screws because I was not sure what kind. So I'll just keep a bunch of different ones size. Uh, here. All right, let's start put this together. What is the screws? I feel it's going inside. I feel like uh, there we go. So let's go. That's what I think. I um, with the 3D printers, really, uh, you have to be careful when you tie stuff. You can break really easier. So. Um, already maybe for my next steel wheel I'm gonna buy a real um, uh, carbon carbon fiber plate but uh, I need to uh, see if it's easy to cut it so I need to search if it's I never like I, I mean I don't think so it would be like you need a special tool for cut carbon fiber but uh, am I gonna replace this one uh, after when I make all the steel wheel because uh, I was thinking to make uh, with the T300 because I mean this this wheel if you buy new is like almost 250 so I have a two uh, so that's why I decide to try with this so Oh, great. Okay, then uh, never mind. That's good. Okay, almost done. Okay, guys, so almost finished with this, and then uh, I'm gonna keep working on the back side. All right, let's keep gonna put it all together, and then uh, I'm gonna work in the back. Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna show you this really quick. So this is the button right there. I put it right there so when I um I click this, so I'm gonna see the light. You're gonna you hear the there the click. So I'm gonna put the magnet here too. So it's gonna be better. 